Hi everybody, this is my ID3 and I will go through now the aerodynamic changes I have made for my car to make it consume less energy. The stock drag co coefficient of the ID3 is claimed to be 0 0.267 or something like that, but I have heard rumors that it's actually even higher, so the aerodynamics for electric car is not, all, not that good concerning the car has full flat underside and here I will go through a few of the reasons why I think it's so. The biggest reason I think is lies here in the front corners. Here you can see my aerodynamic front T-ray deflectors pads. And on the stock car you only have this kind of bump here and it's 35 millimeter uh, thick and that helps to direct the air away from the struts of the car but concerning the front area of the tire there's no flap here which is normally used in aerodynamic cars where the tires are so that's why you need to build some kind of flap here to stop hitting the air the rotating tire which will create a lot of turbulence to the back of the car. I started with uh, straight flaps, uh, it was shaped like this and I tried few different widths of the flap. Now it's 30 millimeter goes 30 millimeter more down than the stock flap and that was already good but the best solution so far has been this curved flap which is at here so air doesn't hit straight surface when you drive it's it directs the air away from the tire and the angle is so it will direct the air about uh, 20 millimeter away from the tire so it goes nicely past the tire i also added here uh, i don't know if it's possible to see this kind of smoothing so air will not hit the straight flap this is like tesla has so you have uh, not a straight flap you have some kind of smooth surface there i will still try uh, another shape to find even better shape i think this is not yet optimal uh, the right head in the id3 is horrible high it's like 160 millimeter from ground clearance or something like that i can measure but it's now i have installed h and r lowering springs here and at the moment the ground height is still in the wheel arches about 140 millimeters 130 millimeters about that so the ground height is lowered, there's few reasons of that. The air will not go so much under the car, but what's even bigger is the rear, rear struts or A-arms, that they are not in the air in the back. I will go show how it looks there now. So the stock car underside is totally flat, that's okay, there's no problem with that. But the struts itself, they have only these kind of small plastics here in the struts. And the strut is so low here, 30 millimeter lower normally, that air hits directly when it comes to, from the smooth underside, it hits directly to the A-arm. And that's totally not good. I have made already, before lowering the car, these uh, pads, uh, plates which would direct the air to go smoother. And now I can actually fill also this hole because the underside is so close to the optimal flat. So I can have this joined together smoothly. Here before that was not possible because the angle would have been too high and it, it would not be good. But now it's actually pretty close to the same angle 
the other underside of the car it has as you can see you can join it smoothly there and it will be excellent Optima would be 40 millimeter lowering in the back I haven't seen a spring set that has 40 millimeter lowering yet so except air suspensions and stuff like that but uh, let's go with this 30 millimeter at the moment might do 40 later but now I will try only the 30 and we'll make next a pad here that's also one problem in the aerodynamics uh, of the car uh, the roof angle of the car is already optimal there's nothing you can do there except extend it if you like you can just put extension you could easily build like 30 centimeter or something like that and that would lower the drag a lot the wheels are already stock pretty aerodynamic but even with these air cooling holes the drag is like 0.0, .0 six higher than if you would have totally closed wheel and of course the best would be if the fully closed wheel would be convex like this wheel is so i'm trying to find a solution i will test these tires soon again if they work better in the summer and give lower track these are from the audi a8 project 155 70 19 just to test if narrow tires are better better than the stock tires in the first test they were horrible compared to the stock tires or the uh, 20 inch uh, winter tires I tested they were better than the stock summer tires when it was plus 5 but now it's plus 20 the stock rear tire the deflectors you can see there they are actually at the same height as the lowest point of the car but still they are like 20 millimeter high if the air comes from the front because here's some kind of small grooves and pockets i already tested this kind of detector here which would direct the air from the front of the car same way as the in the front but in the first test this didn't work and the stock rubber was much better I will test again uh, with minor changes that what kind of shape would be best in the rear uh, the mirrors are already okay aerodynamically there's nothing much you can do there except if you take them out or install a smaller ones smaller ones there here could be maybe done little extend this closer to here and close the gap nicer now it's made this way so it looks cool but this is are symmetrical so you could be build pretty symmetrical plate there also uh, in the front you have active grill block uh, but actually you don't need no cooling in in road driving if you drive according to speed limit so I have closed the block also manually uh, I have measured the temperature at 120 kilometers per hour speed at 22 Celsius and there was no problems with the grill block in place only time the uh, battery cooling pump goes on at the moment seems to be when I charge the car with the home charger I'm using 11 kilowatt charger at the moment if you use rapid charger then this might become a problem so you need to do testing more if you plan to block your cars uh, grill manually it helps a little bit not much but very little helps on the front uh, suspension arms I have already had this kind of plate same as the, in the back these are bent little so air will join better better there to the rest of the car 
these were designed for the 195-55-20 wheels, so I need to make a little bit more space here for the wheels to turn the stock wheels. All of these aerodynamic parts are designed for the 195 with tires, so the optimal setup will use that, that width of the car or, or the tire. Uh, at the moment the ground gear clearance in the front is 80 millimeter here in this flap. This is only for testing and when I found the optimal safe I will build more flexible version that you don't break it in the speed bumps and stuff like that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, car drives well, it's nice to drive, goes smoothly. At the moment I have been able to drive like 16 kilowatt hours at 100 kilometers per hour speed. I think it will go even a little bit lower than that if you if I do testing in smooth road because the tarmac here in Finland is mostly quite bad so it, it's not helping with the rolling resistance. But more testing will come and stay tuned if you want to lower your ID3 energy consumption. Also one, one thing I, I don't like at all is the black roof. Uh, now it's plus 20 and it's already like 45 Celsius. It's super hot. If you would have cooler colors, I will probably change it to a green or white. It will heat the cabin a lot in summer conditions. Also, uh, there should be tinting in the windows to help it stay cool. And more insulation in the doors. I will build some speaker system. 2.1 speaker system I will change here. so. I will dampen the doors. It will also make the noise levels lower. I have already installed some uh, insulation and rust protection mass behind these fenders, front and back. And it helped a little bit to make the uh, tire noise lower. But when you choose the tires for your electric car, Pay attention to the decibel levels your tires will give. These are not the most silent tires you can buy Echo Contact 6. So stay tuned. I will probably go with Michelin E Primasus 195 60 18. At the moment, it's the target tire to put on this car. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.